self-authority, why it's so important, and why none of us have it. Now, this is something that is kind of nuanced, but it's something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. And it's like, wow, so many of us think about it. We go through our lives and we're always on Google, like typing in, how many times per day do you type in, is this lettuce good? Or, you know, how to, I don't know, how to walk with uh, high status, or I'm just coming up with random things, or, you know, how to tie my shoes better, or whatever. These are, these are not good examples, but you're always deferring to someone else, right? And while it's great that we live in this internet age where you've got your Google search bar and you can just find out the answer to all these things, most of the time, if you really think about it, what you're doing is you're deferring your self and your learning and you're putting it on to someone else or in this case just under the internet and some and a lot of times the, these these you know uh google searches will just lead you to some crappy online message board or something and you know what drives me crazy is um all the time i'll read online the person will write uh i actually have no idea the answer to this but and then they'll just like start writing about something else it's like dude if, if, you, if you're not gonna be contributing in a somewhat productive way, then don't, don't be like, I have no idea what the answer is, but let's go off of this complete other tangent. Right? So I, I just find it so funny. Uh, it's such a waste of time. But anyway, the point is, is that a lot of times you already know the answer. And even if you don't, it's good for you to formulate your own opinions and your own ideas and use your own brain to try to come up with the answer. So here's a quick little example. The other day I got spinach at the uh, grocery store. There's this little co-op that I go to. And a lot of the stuff since COVID has been uh, sitting on the shelves. It's not, a lot of people are not really shopping there. Anyway, the spinach was a little bit past the expiration date. So when I opened it up, it smelled a little bit funky. And immediately what I did was I took out my phone and I was like, can you eat spinach that's past its expiration date? And, um, then I thought to myself, and this is kind of where I came up uh, with why I wanted to make this video today is, I'm like, you know what, just smell it and then wash it off a little bit and eat it. I'm like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? And of course, in certain situations, if food is really moldy or um, super rancid, then you don't wanna eat it. But in this case, I think it was two days past his expiration date. So I'm like, you know what, just take it out, wash it off in the colander, put some salad dressing on it and eat it. And worst case, maybe you get a little bit queasy to your stomach. and. Um, and I was thinking about how often when you defer this kind of self-authority, or you can call it whatever you want, but, but I'm calling it self-authority here. When you defer that uh, to someone else or wh whether it be someone else on the internet or someone else in real life or whatever it is, you're basically becoming the follower and you're really not using your brain and, and your own rationality. So what I think is really important and something that's going to become more and more important with the, the prevalence of again the internet and social media and everything is come up with your own opinions and your own ideas right i always say you want to be the creator not the um follower or you want to be the um you want to be the um the creator not the consumer i should say and uh the same thing goes for when you're trying to come up with your own ideas right you know it, there's certain things that are super complex, right? That you want to go to other people for, for sure. But a lot of these basic little things, it's like just use your common sense, right? On a lot of these things, just use what you think makes sense. And then, hey, worst case scenario, uh, it's, you know, ended up being you were wrong and now, now you'll know. But um, it's going to help you a tremendous amount. And another thing that I think ties in really importantly is if you ever read the book Anti-Fragile, it's really great because essentially a lot of these things, it's like we're in such a nerf society where everyone's like, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that and, you know, overly cautious. And it's like, well, if you're like that all the time, you can never learn. How are you going to learn whether that spinach is good? Going back to this example is going to be by trial and error, right? And you can't ever learn if you're, we're in a complete nerf society where, um, you know, you have no, no option to put yourself out there and learn. So how do humans learn? We, you learn by trying and by being curious and then by, um, failing, 
essentially and by by screwing things up and then you learn and then you come back go back to the drawing board and you do it again and again that's the process of learning in a nutshell right so why would you want to take that away from yourself why would you want to take that away from someone else and um it's just important so self-authority start coming up with your own answers don't go on to Google every second of the day trying to type in. And that, that also just leads to a whole bunch of, you know, kind of just contracted thinking and, and micromanaging on everything, right? It, it's just, you don't want to be always typing. And it also just takes a lot of your focus away if you're always then going down to your phone to type into something on, on, the, on the search bar. You're just losing a lot of that focus too. So read the book, Anti-Fragile. Um, it's great. It's got a lot of ideas. It'll, it'll show you how to be much more of a badass and go towards things that are hard. Remember, you want to go towards what is hard, not what is easy. Yeah, and that's what's going to strengthen your brain and continue on this upward spiral. So cultivate that self-authority. You'll be happy you did it, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. I'm out. <laughs>